Hi, I'm Kai, and I'm going to make poop. So that is right, people. We get to make poop today, and it's actually considered artistic. So let's get into this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a rectangle tool, and I'm just going to make a rectangle. Just like this. And that's it. Now we're done. It's a log. <laughs> Just kidding. So the next thing after we do that, we're going to go up here to Effect. Then we're going to go to Stylize, Round Corners. Mess with this Preview. And we'll go right about there. Meh, maybe there. Eh, that works, OK. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that one. So I have this one. And this is really going to be a, a big part of our, our shape. So. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do a copy, Command C, and then Command F. And now I pasted that right on top. So I have a second one right there. I'm going to hit E so I can transform it. It's my transform tool. And I'm going to zoom in here because if I don't, I know I'm going to end up messing this up. But I'm just going to bring this down, kind of matching this a little bit. And I'm going to bring this in, in, too far. And I'm just going to keep messing with this a little bit to where it looks like I'm going to make a poop pyramid. <laughs> yes, a pyramid people made of poop. It's the new thing. Everybody likes it. Everybody enjoys it. A nice poop pyramid. And we just make it until I get to a point where I think it's alright. And that's not too bad. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, Command C, Command F, and I'm going to pull this one up. I'm going to pull the poop. I'm pulling at the poop. It's okay for me to say that. I can say that. It's, it's artistic. Like I said, this is artistic. So I am allowed to say that I'm pulling the poop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little bit more this way. It's all in taste. It's all in the taste of the poop. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one. And then this last one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to make a little shape right here that kind of comes out and around. Kind of like that other shape, just like that. And I'm going to keep it going. Right in there, and work it around here, and then bring it around here. And this time I'll click the center, and then I'm gonna make a nice poopy shape right there. I don't like that, it's not, didn't connect too well right there. So let's try that again, just like that. And then I can finish connecting. Okay, so now that we have that, I want to I want to uh, uh, combine these uh, shapes. But before I can do that, these squares are not really shapes. So if uh, uh, or they're not rounded shapes. So if I go up here to what was I gotta do? Uh, 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 object. Sorry, object. Object. Expand appearance. Then they round. Okay, sorry. <laughs> object expand appearance, and then they round. So we'll go back to uh, what it looks like. And then after that, now I'm going to uh, put all these together. So I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool right up here, Unite. So we kind of have our basic poop shape. And um, I'm not really sure about this top here. I mean, it, it would work It would work fine. But maybe I want to add like another little um, mound to it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And I'm just going to speed this up and I'm just taking my pen tool and I'm recreating this shape uh, to add just kind of one more layer of turd and then I'm just going to merge it with the other shape. That way it will all be combined and that's it. So there you have it and uh, your, your finished poop shape. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to make sure that this is all one shape. So Pathfinder and hit that Unite 
now I'm going to kind of add some shine to the poop. Yes, I'm going to make the poop nice and shiny. So I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go diagonally from corner to corner right here with my pen tool. So I'm going to grab a little point there, a little point here. And now I'm just going to kind of make that shape a little bit round so it doesn't have that straight line to it. Hit the middle. And I'm just going to bring this around. Bring this around. Bring this around. And I'm just going to continue it all the way around this edge. Good, just like that. I'm going to select, make sure it's selected. Go over to my gradient tool, hit my gradient, hit my black, make sure this is a turn to CMYK. If you didn't know how to do it, it's right here. This is where you can change them. CMYK and I'm going to slide all my bars over to the right. Come back down here and I'm going to go start off with a minus 90, just like that. And if that's not exactly where I want it, I can kind of toggle it around a little bit. Just like so. And that's pretty good. And I can move my sliders as well. I'm going to come to my transparency. Go to screen. Oops, actually I actually have to have it selected. <laughs> Transparency, screen, and there we go. A nice shiny poop. And I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'll speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to watch. Uh, one thing that I did notice is I'm, I wanna make it like a little cutaway right here. And I could have designed that along with uh, when I was first making the poop, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna be doing this nice and sloppy real quick. And in order to do that, I'm just going to take my eraser and maybe pull this up a little bit. So we're back and there you have it. That's what uh, the shiny poop looks like and you can mess around with this stuff as much as you want to, uh, lower the opacity and things like that. But that's pretty much essentially, essentially it. So now we're gonna move on to the face. So the face is gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna grab a circle, kind of a, an ellipse tool. And I'm just gonna make a big ellipse right about here pretty good let's fill this with let's see maybe we should go with uh, a gray we'll leave this as gray or um, gradient i'm sorry but i'm going to change the color slightly and i'll turn this a little bit lighter yeah right about in there then i'm going to let's flip these around just like that and I only want that gray to be up in here a little bit. Just like that. And then we're going to grab another ellipse. Actually, let's just use the same ellipse so we get the right, the right shape. So I'm going to do a Command C, Command F which is gonna copy and right in front of the other one. Then I'm going to hit E so I can transform. I'm gonna hit Shift, Alt, Option. And I'm just gonna bring this in just a little bit and we can figure out how much we want. And then I'm going to turn this shape into black. So there we go, now we have our first eye. So if we want, we can give it a stroke, something simple like that. Or, so let's try this, I'm gonna click on the white part of the eye, I'm gonna do Command 
C, Command F, and I'm going to turn this to black. And then I'm going to hit E. I'm going to make this slightly bigger. And then we're going to send this backwards a little bit, just like that. So now we can kind of see what this looks like. It kind of gives it that stroke, right? But what if we wanted to do something like this? Maybe we want to make this go up a little bit like that. And that way it kind of gives it that uh, more of a, a shadowy type of appeal to it where the, the line down here is thinner and the line up here is thicker. So I like that a lot. This, we need to make sure this is black right now. I think it's on the gradient. There we go, kind of like that. And that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take all these shapes, or I could give it a shine. Let's give it a shine just for fun. And you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna give that a little shine. Like that. Maybe I'll give it another one. So now I'm going to select all of these shapes for the eye. I'm going to group it. Command G for group. So now when I select on it, it's grouped. Command C, Command F. And now I'm going to just move that shape over. Just like that. And those are the eyes. Now we got to make the mouth. I'll grab my elliptical tool and just make kind of a little mouth just like that. Oh. <laughs> just like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a gradient, just kind of like I did this one here. And I'm going to grab this. Let's grab the light gray, and then here let's grab the white. There we go. I think I want that to be a little bit darker. Gray in here. Yeah, just like that. So I'm going to zoom in. Grab this direct select tool, and I'm going to grab this anchor point. I'm going to pull it down. I'm also going to grab this anchor point. I'm going to pull it down. Make sure I'm going to go straight. I'm going to hold my shift key down just like that. I can also hold these two points with my arrow key. I'll slide those up. Maybe. Maybe I'll pull this one back up a little bit. Right in there, kind of like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. I want to have a big smile, right? There we go. I like that. Let's do E. Make this a little bit smaller. Stay inside the pupils a little bit. Then we're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the eyes. Command C, Command F. Change this to black. Hit E so I can transform it. Hold Shift, Alt down at the same time. Go out a little bit. Then I'm going to send it backwards. And then there we can see I need to make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Might just go bigger here. Actually, not there. We want to go bigger up top. So go bigger right there. Just like that. And what I might have to do is grab, since it's a little bit different shape, I'll grab this anchor point and I'll go in a little bit. And 
Let's grab all of them. I might even do it one more time. Maybe even pull this out a little bit, pull this out a little bit. And there we have it. So that's it for making your own poop. So just remember, tell all your friends that if, uh, if you need to learn how to make poop, come to Kai. Okay, maybe don't say that. So I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't. And if you'd like to support me further, I have a children's book online on Amazon.com. It's called Dragons, and I hope you take a look at it. Otherwise, appreciate the support, guys, and I'll see you guys later.